Okay, so welcome to the first video in my tutorial series on light shows. Um, if you guys are more advanced users and know how to set up uh, launch pads and uh, MIDI tracks, uh, just skip these first few videos. Um, in this one, I'm just going to show you guys straight from Ableton. You've opened Ableton, turned the launch pad on, uh, connected it to your computer, uh, how to set that up in the preferences. So we've got the launch pad here, it's on, but nothing's happening. And to get stuff to happen, go into options and preferences, or you can do um, control comma if you're on Windows. And here you've got different tabs and you want to go into the, mid, into the MIDI link tab here. And here, um, the first thing I'll do actually is turn this off. And you can see uh, at the moment, you've only got one uh, MIDI port. It's an output and it's just this random uh, Microsoft thing that probably comes with the operating system uh, and for Apple you might have something similar. Um, so the first thing I'll do is turn on uh, the first launch pad and you'll see straight away um, that you get these ports over here and you've got three new input ports uh, launch pad pro, launch pad pro, launch pad pro and uh, outputs launch pad pro and port 2 and port 3 blah blah blah. Uh, I'm just gonna undo this stuff here so you can see, so the first thing we want to do is select a controller surface. And that's basically, this controller is a Launchpad Pro. You might have a different kind of Launchpad. Um, you can have, you see different kind of controllers. You've got the Akai APC40 here. Um, you've got, um, for example, the Keystation Pro 88, which is like a MIDI keyboard. Uh, we want Launchpads, so the Launchpads are here. So if you've got one of the old launch pads, like the Launchpad S or the original one, and maybe even the MIDI, I think, just select Launchpad. If you've got the Launchpad MK2, select MK2. If you've got the Pro, select the Pro, it's kind of obvious. So under Input, just select Launchpad Pro, ignore Port 2 or Port 3. Uh, we're never gonna touch them, so just pretend they're not there. And again, Output, Launchpad Pro. So again, here you've got Port 2 and Port 3, just ignore those, ignore Microsoft, um, whatever it is. So here you've got Launchpad Pro, Input, Launchpad something. It doesn't even finish saying it. Just turn on Track and Remote for that. And again, in the Outputs, so you can see here are Inputs, here are Outputs. Uh, you've got Launchpad Pro, Output, blah, 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 something. Turn the Track um, and Remote on for that too. And in case you've got more than one Launchpad, this is what happens. You turn uh, the second one on, wait for it to load. Uh, we already know the control surface is gonna be a Launchpad Pro in this case, because I've got two Pros. Um, here you'll see in outputs and inputs, uh, you've got now a Launchpad Pro, Pro Port 2, Pro, Pro, Pro Port 3, and then you've got Launchpad Pro number 2, and then Port 2 and Port 3. So just select, uh, as usual, just select number 2 and number 2. And here you'll see also you've got three new ones. You've got the input, of, like basically the same thing that we turned on here, but you can see it's off. And then you've got Pro, um, the input, Launchpad Pro number 2, Port 2, and Port 3. So always ignore those, um, just turn on these. So these long names, turn those on. And again, in the outputs, you've got um, these last three are the new ones that we've just added. So turn uh, the track and remote on uh, for basically this long name here, Launchpad Pro Output, blah, blah, blah. Ignore port two and port three. So that's basically it, they're set up. Um, you can see here if I press buttons, um, they respond in Ableton. And this is session mode. We'll be doing all of our tutorials in user mode. So already press them, get ready for the next tutorial.